Hello and welcome to my review for the Pepke nappy. Pepke is an Australian brand and this nappy was very kindly gifted me in exchange for a review but this review is my honest opinion of the nappy. At the time of filming these aren't available in the UK but I know they have been in discussions with some retailers so maybe they will be soon. Pepke do also ship internationally, so you should be able to get hold of these nappies wherever you are. They retail for 37 Australian dollars, which at the moment is about 21 pounds. This particular print is called Seafoam. It's a really pretty light baby blue. All their prints are really muted and soft, and they are really very beautiful. The whole collection is beautiful. The p of the nappy is made from Reprieve which is made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastic bottles. And they reckon, as a rough estimate, each nappy has saved six plastic bottles from landfill. I really like that they're using recycled products because what we need to be aware of is even a cloth nappy or any eco product has an environmental cost in its production. So this just lessens that carbon footprint a little bit. And I'm really pleased they've done that. The p is really nice and like silky soft. It's lovely. Um, there is a little label here that does seem to screw up a little bit in the wash. It's really cosmetic. Um, but I know that they are going to change th that so it doesn't fold up so much. So it's lovely that they're taking feedback on board. There is a fixed strip of elastic at the back, which I really love. I think it's much more comfortable for my baby. The rise poppers are only in two columns and i do normally say that i prefer to have a third column down the center as well but because this nappy is quite narrow between the legs i don't find that it's actually missing it and i think the two columns works really well size wise i think it is probably a true birth to potty nappy which a lot of australian brands do tend to be you see you've got an extra row here so you can go all the way down and make it really nice and small and then there's an overlap tab for the waist as well my boy is two now and we are between having the nappy fully open and using this rise here and I can't really quite work out which one gives him the best fit. But in terms of last into potty training, he is very tall. I think it should be fine. There is an external double gusset, um, which I'm not normally a massive fan of because I find it leaves sock marks, but this does seem quite gentle on him and the containment is really good. He's tested this one quite well and I was really impressed by it. The nappies are only available with a popper waist fastening and there is a hip stability popper as well. I've got both inserts in this nappy and as you can see it does come up quite bulky particularly between the legs. Although it is narrow it just is just like it's like bulky this way. It's not so bad on the back particularly when it's on if that looks a lot better. There is a good range of poppers here so you can get the waist quite generously sized as well. The tabs on the sides are quite long as well, so they do wrap around the nappy really nicely. The nappy can either be used as a pocket or an all-in-two. So inside it has a soft suede stay dry layer. Again, it's slightly bobbled, but that is normal for this fabric. There is a PR tummy panel at the front, and then there are two pocket openings. So there's this one here underneath this flap. And there is a second one at the back. Neither of them are elasticated, but particularly the back one is a really decent size. So let's talk through the inserts you get with this nappy. So you get um, a smaller hourglass insert with poppers, and then you get a longer anchor insert, which has got two sets of poppers. Each one of these is six layers of bamboo. So when you're using the nappy on the smaller settings for a younger baby, when you might not need quite so much absorbency, you might be able to get away with using this one just on its own. So you can either pop it in to the back of the nappy here and lay it flat, although obviously that is going to make your baby feel wet. So some babies don't mind that, or you could add a fleece liner. Or you can stuff it into the pocket, either by detaching it and stuffing it in like you normally would, or leaving it snapped in at the back. I'm not a massive fan of pockets that open at the front because um, I do find it's more difficult to clean up when the baby's had a solid and also quite often I will use the front of the nappy to wipe the baby clean which if it has a flap like this does make it quite messy but it does make it a little bit easier to stuff. 
So that's this morning inset in. So I like to leave it poppered in at the back because I just think it gives a bit of security. So your next option for absorbency would be to use the anchor insert. Um, again, it's got poppers here so you can snap it onto the back and then it folds into the nappy. Or you could just ignore the poppers and stuff it. So you just kind of fold this into half and put it in the nappy. I have actually found I get a much better fit if I ignore these back poppers and stuff the anchor in. So it's at the front. This also gives me a bit more absorbency because you've got this much extra fabric on either side. So I've been popping it in the pocket because I like a pocket nappy. It does fit nicely in the front here. And then that bit just goes inside the pocket and then that gives me, if I fold it right the way up, then that gives me 12 layers of bamboo absorbency. If you need a bit more absorbency, then you can use these poppers, the lower ones on the anchor, and you can snap the hourglass directly to it. And then these poppers are still visible at the top, so if you wanted to attach onto the back, then you can do, or you can still use it in the front of the nappy and then fold the anchor like so. That said, absorbency wise, I've really struggled with this nappy. So I have been using it with just the anchor insert and having it, as I said, folded, the anchor at the front folded in half. So I've got 12 layers of bamboo in the wet zone. And yet I'm really struggling to get two hours out of this nappy. It's getting so wet to the point that it's actually um, starting to leak through the PUL where it's just so saturated inside. So I do need to use the hourglass insert as well in order to get the absorbency up. But that's the point where I've really started to struggle with the fit. So just using the anchor, I get a decent fit. It's probably not my fate, it's not my favourite fit. By having the nappy on this rise and then popping the anchor in the front. And that does give us a semi-decent fit. I do find it quite bulky just between the legs here. And as I said, in terms of how far it comes out rather than the actual width of it. But once I want to add the hourglass into it as well, I just cannot find a way of getting the fit to work at all. So I've tried opening up the rise as well to see if that helps. Opening up the rise has helped a little bit, but it's still not a great fit for us. Um, I'm getting an awful lot of gapes on the tummy, which I do have with other nappies as well. And I don't get leaks from the tummy area, but it just isn't a great fit for his body shape. He's quite tall and skinny, so I do wonder if he was a bit chunkier, if that would help with the fit issues. I've got the anchor at the front there to give me that little bit more absorbency and the anchor is double folded and pushed as far to the front as I can get it. And then you've got the hourglass snapped onto the anchor. When it is snapped onto the anchor, it is it does make it quite long because it's obviously dropped that far, far down the anchor. When it's just snapped on the pocket on its own, it's quite a good length. But when it's snapped to the anchor, it does make it a little bit longer. The alternative would be to remove it from the anchor insert. And then you could snap the hourglass to the back of the pocket and stuff it in. And if you're on the smaller rises, that is definitely going to help you. You get it into the pocket nicely. It does fit a bit nicer now. Overall, I really wanted to like the snappy more than I do, unfortunately. Um, the addition of a bit of tummy elastic might help with the fit issues I'm experiencing. The prints are really beautiful and I would have been quite happy to sell my existing nappies and have the whole set because they really are stunning and the PUL is lovely. And I love that the nappies are a true birth to potty with the extra rise as well. It is a little frustrating that although the containment is really good, it's the absorbency that I'm struggling with with this nappy. I would say my boy is an average wetter now. I don't think he's particularly heavy. Um, I've tested this out mostly in the afternoons as well when he tends to be a bit lighter. I like that it's narrow between the legs, that's really important to me because I do think it helps with movement. But it is just very bulky here, once he's got it on this bulges out a bit more and it does make it really bulky on the front. As I said the back isn't so bad. Sadly it just isn't working very well for us. So therefore overall I'm going to give the Pepki nappy 3 stars. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe for more content.